Hey guys, Super Horror Bro Mike here, and in today's video, we are playing Oblitus Kesa. Now, I hope I've pronounced that right, because it is a strange name. I don't know if it's maybe a name in Latin or Spanish or something, but either way, uh, it's called Oblitus Kesa, and this is actually the sequel to Five Nights at Treasure Island. If you remember, that was a game we played a few years ago. It was a Five Nights at Freddy's style fan game with Disney characters on Discovery Island, where we were trapped in uh, the depths of Discovery Island, basically, and all the different Disney characters had come to life in a nightmarish form. I'm a big fan of both Disney and Five Nights at Freddy's, and as you guys had been asking me to play this for a number of weeks now, I thought I'd dive in and finally check it out. So with that said guys, we're going to dive in now. Now before I started the game, there was a very long intro sequence, which I started to record over, but I didn't actually have my commentary going at that point because I didn't expect it to start, you know, with a, a whole intro. So I'll play that intro as we dive into the game, and then I'll be back with you after that's played out. So sit back, relax, and let's check out Oblitus Kesa in today's video. Today is December 1st, 2004. This is Dr. Jared Rowley speaking, and my patient's name is Jake Smith. As per authoritative requests, all sessions with Mr. Smith from this point forward will be recorded for use in the Discovery Island case. Now Jake, before we get started, I'm going to briefly explain the circumstances behind your admittance here on tape for the sake of documentation. Is that okay? Uh, okay. Jake Smith was declared missing in 2003 during the Discovery Island incident. A year later, on July 23, 2004, he was found and taken into custody after displaying signs of delusions and paranoia. Currently, he's a suspect in the disappearance of Greg McLaughlin, Lisa Birch, and Henry Miller. Now, Jake, can you tell me anything you recall from your time on Discovery Island? We spoke about it a little during our first session, but I've been asked to get a statement on tape. Maybe you'd like to start from the beginning and work your way from there? About your time as an intern? No? That's... that's alright, Jake. We can do that again whenever you're comfortable. Maybe... maybe you'd like to talk about what exactly caused you to vanish like that, or where you were when you were missing. I know you said it was a blur, but maybe trying to talk about it will help you remember. Okay, that's, that's also fine. What about the cabin? Can you tell me about the cabin, Jake? You told me that nothing happened there during our last session, but considering what you did to the place... Look, this case has stumped the authorities, Disney, even the agency you worked for. There's just dead end after dead end, and your friends' families have no answers. We know something happened in that cabin. If you don't want to talk about it right now, that's okay too. But please, I think getting it off your chest at some point would really benefit you. The sooner they get answers, the sooner we can focus on helping you get better. Don't you want to put all this behind you, Jake? You spent a year on that island. You lost a year of your life to it. Three friends. Do you really want it to take even more? Thank you, Jake. Now please, tell me about the cabin. Here we go, we're inside the cabin. So this is the cabin they were talking about, night one. 12 a.m., we've got a notepad. Your friends are dead, I am here to help you. The music on the cameras fools him. Distant sounds are less effective than close sounds. Use that to your advantage and check this notepad frequently. Okay, we've got a rubber here, like an eraser. Um, oh, cameras, here we go. Oh, there's Mickey. So do we play the music? Yeah, we played the music. That did nothing. Do we flash him? Oh, he's gone. Maybe I should have camera flashed him. Where is he? Where's he gone? I don't like this already, guys. This is freaky. Oh, he's there. Can I flash him? I flashed him. Oh, wait, maybe we lure him back with the music. I don't know, guys. Yeah, we lure him with the music. So we meant to keep him, like, towards the, uh, opening area of the, of a cabin. Where was the opening area? I don't know. Um, is it here? Oh god, wait. What's happening? Oh, we've got something here. We've got something on the notepad. 
That's what we erase. Okay. Oh my god, he's here. Let's bring him back into the kitchen. This is insane. Um. Oh, an attic. We've got an attic, guys. What the heck? What's the attic all about? Look at this. Huh. I'm really confused. There's like a computer over there. Can I go back down? Yeah, you can go back down. Okay. Let's bring up the camera once more. I'm going to try and bring um, Mickey back to the kitchen. Yeah, this is how we deal with Mickey. We just play the music. He looks really freaky, by the way. I want to know where the entrance was. But I can't seem to find it now. Is it cam one? Yeah, let's bring him back to the entrance. There we go. That's what I want. I don't know if we meant to flash him or not. Oh, we've got another face on a notepad. This is very interesting. I don't know what exactly is going on. We've got a treasure or a discovery island, I should say, banner there and a poster there. What the frick is that? Right, let me bring him back. I'm going to check the attic, guys. Into the attic, please. Anyone up here? I don't know. I can't see anyone. Doesn't seem like it. I heard someone speak to us then. This is really strange. A little face on the notepad. Okay, I don't know what the faces represent. Just bring him back to the entrance every time. What cam is this, by the way? Does it say? Is this cam 5? No, that's cam 1. Okay, so Cameron's the furthest away from us. I don't know what cam we're closest to. Oh, we got something appearing there. Okay. It's 3am. This night seems fairly easy. It seems like we're just kind of being shown the ropes at the moment. Making sure that Mickey is kept away from us with the music. And we've got like a door there. I don't know if someone can come through that. And there's a door here, of course. Let's check that attic one more time. Anyone here? I'm guessing at some point there's going to be like an enemy in the attic as well. But we have to like flash our light on or something. Bring him back. Let's check our notepad. Got a little face. Don't know what the face is all about, but we have to use the eraser to basically take care of that. I'm kind of nervous because I feel like it's too easy. But I think it's just getting us used to the mechanics this night. I don't think this night is, um, you know, meant to be like a proper night. It's like a tutorial. Which is just saying, hey, look, this is what you should be doing. Erase that. Check the attic one more time, just in case. Anyone up? Oh! Whoa. You have been given a second chance. Your best friend will ward off one of the mice and the rabbit. The dog does not like the light. Your best friend will ward off one of the mice and the rabbit. The dog does not like the light. What the heck? The duck will try to trick you. Watch what head you click. The other mouse does not like you staring. What the heck? Oh my god. What am I supposed to do? Oh, we've got something we can flash here. Do we just keep flashing him? Oh. Do we have to stitch him? Looks like we have to stitch this guy. I'm really, really confused. Like, what are we even doing here, right? Oh my god, what's happening? Guys, I have no idea what's happening. All I know is I shouldn't have gone into the attic. Game over. So what is that second chance mechanic all about? That's what I want to know. It kind of told me all this stuff, but I didn't really take it in. Um, because it came at me so fast, you know, it was like, do not stare at this character, flash this character. Hmm. I was saying how night one was very easy, and it was, but then I just went upstairs and like seemingly died instantly. I don't really understand why that happened. Either way, it seems like you can sometimes just go into the attic and, um, get killed. Maybe the attic is somewhere we have to hide against future enemies, but currently we didn't really have any need to go into it. Either way, I guess what we could do is I'll just skip to the end of the night, because we were literally at the end of the night there. It was like 5.30 or something. 
So um, probably the best thing to do is to skip to the end of the night, just show you the very end and we'll go into night two next. Okay guys, we've got towards the end of the night again, it's 5am, hopefully this time we can clear the stage. I'm not going in the attic this time. <laughs> I almost wonder though, did that thing happen on purpose to show us the tutorial for, uh, you know, the second chance mechanic? And if that's the case, I'm going to have to try and do it again and understand it this time. So I'm not sure, but we'll see. Either way, it's 5.30, this is where we got to last time. So let's keep it going. As soon as he disappears, we'll um, draw him again with the music. There we go. Nice. I think we've done it. Yes, look, we made it. Okay, so we did make it that time. We just didn't need to go in the attic. That's what kind of messed us up the first time. And now morning has broken, the sun is rising, and we've got do not cross place outside, which is a bit ominous. The morning sun has driven them back into darkness. Good. Let's go then. <laughs> Let's run away. You are not alone. Listen closely to make it out of the tunnels. Turn your flashlight off to listen in the halls. They are searching for you. Avoid them if possible. I didn't get time to read all of that. Come on, man. Let me click off it when I'm ready. I can hear something. Oh, right click for a light. Uh, this way, maybe. Man, I don't like this. Oh my god, they're sitting there! Run! Run! Go! Which way to get out of the halls? I have no idea, guys. I'm going this way. I'm going north. Oh, that's a, that's a dead end. Can we go this way? East? Again? Oh my god, I don't want to go east. Let's go, uh... South? Guys, which way? This is actually really scary. Oh my god! Go! That is actually terrifying. Let me out of here. Okay, we've reached an exit. Oh no, we haven't. We've reached a dead end is what I mean. We need to like basically keep going until we find um, something along these walls, like um, some kind of door or something. I can hardly talk, I'm really anxious. I can hear them, but I can't see them. Oh no, I've reached another dead end. That's nuts. So, like what are we even looking for here? I assumed we wanted to hug the walls until we found a door, but maybe not. I guess we just go up then. To the middle, maybe? Oh! We got got. We got got. What the heck? Game over. Please say I don't have to do the whole night again. Could I continue from like the weird creepy maze? I remember the first game had this though, where you were like trapped and you had to find the elevators and stuff. It was kind of like a mini game between like the main nights. Okay, let's try it again. Night one tunnels. I feel like I'm doing something wrong with this uh, tunnel section because last time I was just going round and around and there's no like sense of direction. So it says, you are not alone. Listen closely to make it out of the tunnels. Turn your light off to listen in the halls. Ah, wait. It says, turn your light off to listen in the halls as they're searching for you. So maybe... Do we do it without the light? Maybe? <gasps> I heard something, guys. Yeah, it's telling us where to go. Listen. Listen. Oh. That way. It tells us with a little bell where to go. So we died again, but basically guys, I think I've got it. When we turn the camera, we hear this little ding sound and that tells us where we're meant to be going. So we kind of have to listen out for the ding um, of the bell. 
but also we want to be careful we don't obviously turn the light on and sort of aggro that enemy so let's try it again I think I'll get it this time it's just one of those games where you have to learn what the game wants you to do and it takes a few uh takes a few attempts so let's have a listen is it west no oh maybe go back Yes, west. And again? Oh! Wait. Did we do it? Did we do it already? I actually did it in like two clicks, what the heck? Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. It's night two, we did it guys. That must be the fastest speedrun of that ever. <laughs> Listen for sounds in the attic, he is scared by the light. A new creature is roaming the cameras. Use the camera flash when you see it. Okay, so... He's in the attic. Right, okay. I don't understand. I think we have to listen until... Um... Oh, there we go. Attic. Anyone about? I heard someone in the attic, but... What the heck? There's no one up here. Okay. Let's just have a look up. Oh! Flash. There we go. We flashed them. We need to get the um, notepad done as well. Oh, Mickey was almost fully drawn then. Okay. So yeah, we have to basically watch out for, ca for the cameras, guys. And when something appears on the cameras, we flash it, okay? So, there it is. It's on camera one all the time so far. Draw Mickey back. And now let's check the attic again. In case for creatures up there. Anyone up here? So far so good. Okay, let's return. Get that camera back up. Draw him back. Make sure our notepad's not got Mickey on it, which it almost had. Let's check all the cameras. Just make sure he hasn't switched camera. Nope. Camera 9. Oh, there we go. Yep. That was close. That was very close. So he's on camera 9 that time. I don't know who that's meant to be. Which character that's meant to be, but there we go. Let's just check our notebook. There we go. Get that done. It's getting faster and it's getting harder already. So we've got to check. Oh, there it is. I think that's Minnie Mouse, actually. Looks like Minnie Mouse. Or it could be Daisy, actually. Daisy Duck, maybe? I don't know. Oh! Alright, I think something's in the attic. I heard a tapping. Let's go. Anything? Oh my god, yeah, look at that. Go! What the heck? I don't understand. What was I meant to do then? I thought I was meant to shine the light in his face. Was I not? And now we've got to do this thing again. Okay, abandoned by God. Alright, let's go. What are we meant to do? I never understand what we're meant to do on this. Oh, I clicked a Mickey head. I think we're meant to find the Mickey heads, guys. There we go, we got two. Um. Oh my god, this is nuts. No! Have I lost? Or did I do it? No, I did it! I must have clicked the third head. Okay, cool. And we're back to 2am, so it actually saves our progress as well. Nice. Sweet O's. Okay, let's go. Oh, there we go. I've heard him. He's in the attic. Let's go up to the attic, guys. Hopefully this works this time. There, we got him. Okay, so you just have to be super quick with it. Okay, I got it. Now we need to check all the cameras again. To, oh! To, yeah, to get rid of Minnie. Or not Minnie, Daisy, I think it is. Oh, okay, we've got it. We've got the mechanic. I now understand. You have to be super quick to get to the attic as all. Well. As soon as you hear that tap, you got to be up there. So now we have our technique down. There we go. <laughs> That's close. This game is very challenging, guys. This is actually one of the harder FNAF games I've played in a while because this is only night two. And already it's keeping my mind very active with what I'm meant to be doing. Uh, keeping, on my t keeping me on my toes. Can't even get my words out. 3 a.m. 
I can hear Mickey or something. Or maybe Daisy or Minnie. I don't know which Disney character it is. Someone's trying to talk to us. Oh, Flash. Nice. Let's get rid of that. Don't even know what he's saying to us. Can I see Daisy the duck? No, I can't. Yes, I can. Bring Mickey back. Now, I don't hear anyone in the attic yet. I think when you hear someone in the attic, you've got to drop everything else. Because it's like you just don't get very long to react to it. So it's a case of just going, you know what? No matter what, we're going to the attic next. Because that's an insta-kill if you fail that one. So that's what we're going to do. Flash. Back to camera one. Draw Mickey. Nice. Oh, there we go. So we go up to the attic now. There we go. Get in with the light. That's it. You just got to be quick, guys. We worked it out. Good. Get rid of Mickey there. Okay, now let's go back to camera one. Draw Mickey back, and then we'll find Daisy. Hope I'm saying it right. I hope it is Daisy and it's not like a different character. It doesn't really matter too much. There she is. Uh, check our notepad. Yep, there we go. Okay. Mickey, let's bring you back. Good job. Anyone else? It's five o'clock. We're doing all right. We're doing all right, guys. Get rid of all that. Stop trying to mess our sketchbook up. Mickey's back. Man, come on, Daisy. Show yourself. There you are. Take your picture. Smile for the camera, you know? I really hope I don't die now. We're so close. We've got to draw Mickey back to the doors. Here he is. Take a picture of Daisy. Come on. I was waiting to hear that knock knock from the attic. If we hear it, we've got to be super quick. I don't know what they're saying. It's creepy. There we go. Smile for the camera. And we've done it, I think, guys. That's night two. Sweet. Ah, the morning sun is rising. It's peaceful. Got a little Donald Duck on my bookshelf there. It's a bit of a grimy place. You could do up the cabin a little bit, I think. Maybe varnish the doors, paint it a little bit. The morning sun has driven them back into darkness. So we get the same message every time we complete a night by the look of it. Oh. Okay, this game again. Great. Come on. We've got to work out where to go. I'm just going to go forward. Oh, man. Come on. Which way? Can't hear the sound. Oh, it's, so it's south. It's south. Where is it now? North? West? Guys, I don't know. It's hard. It's harder to tell this time. Come on. Is it north? Oh no, I can hear those voices. South. Okay. West. No, I'm not here. Leave us alone. No. It's this way. This way again. And this way again. We did it. Oh my god, guys, can you believe it? We did it again, like, super fast. You don't even need to use the light, at least not so far. You just have to be careful. So now we're on night three. Now, I think I might try and do night three, guys, and then we'll end the video, okay? So we'll end part one after I've done night three. Ooh, that actually gets my anxiety right up playing that. Whew. 
Okay, let's see what our notepad says. You cannot let her into your room. Use the flash. Right. Is this just a new uh, character? That's what we were doing last time, surely, right? Oh, God. That was quick. She appeared... Oh, there's... Wait, there's a... There's like a... a, a is it a mini mouse in camera two? Like a floating enemy. I don't know. Just floating at the top of a room there. It's very strange. Oh man, in the attic. Okay, keep it going. Bring Mickey back. Wow, almost completely drawn there. That was quick. Let's go to camera two. Flasher. Is that right? Oh god, we've got to go upstairs. Attic. Immediately. Immediately. There he is. Get rid of him. Nice. We did it. No. Don't do that. Don't want to do that. Ugh. I'm messing up, guys. I'm messing up. Right, where's the... She's here. Okay, we got her. Good. This is insane. Sorry, my commentary probably sounds awful, but you know what? <laughs> I can't really do much else, guys, because I'm trying to... You know, keep all of these guys in one place, you know? Oh, she's here. Wow. Man, that enemy is aggressive tonight. Let's check that notepad again. It's 1.30. Bring Mickey back. There we go. Uh, I... Oh, she's in the attic. Well, she seems to be constantly in the attic there. I've got a little idea, guys. I've got a little idea. Oh, I think we go upstairs. There. Nice. Good job. Yeah, I've got an idea. What I might do is um, maybe if that other one's going to keep appearing in the attic. Oh, she doesn't. She moves around. I was going to say, if she's going to keep appearing in the attic here or the hallway here, I might do it. I might do it so that, like, um, Mickey is trapped up there as well, but I think he moves around as well. Come on, rub him out. There we go. Nice work. Okay, that floating enemy's not there anymore. Which is good. She is, though. Oh! Do we have to flash this one? I think so. Yeah, she's gone. Okay, I think that's another enemy we flash. Potentially. You have to be really quick with this notepad now as well. Man. That is fast. Oh, and to the attic. Immediately. Where is he there? Thank you. Away you go. Get rid of that. Now let's go back on cams. Now we're going to have to do a quick sweep. Okay, flash. Do we see Mini? Wow. We did. We saw her in two places. Check the notepad. Get rid of that. Oh my god, this is insane. This is really nut this is really nuts. Oh, we got a character there. I think that's Mickey again. So flash that, bring Mickey back. Get rid of that. Back on cams. And let's have a look. Where do we go next? Oh, there we go. I'm going to hear that knock on the attic in a minute, I think. So let's get rid of this first. There we go. Like clockwork. Come on. There he is. Oh, man, that's so creepy. This game is actually super creepy. I'll, I'll give it that much. All right, let's bring Mickey back. Because he'll no doubt be wondering. There he is. Get rid of her. Check. There's one there. I think we have to flash this one as well. I think that's a character. I'm not 100% sure, though. Oh, no. Mickey's moved. Right. Quickly check the notepad. That was very close. Back to cams. Flash. The attic will probably knock in a minute. Wow. That was super fast. Get rid of that. Was that the attic then? I don't know if that was the attic or not, guys. It might have been. Oh, 
God. Go up to the attic, quick. There. Come on. Go. Go. Yes, that was so close. Yes, I obviously missed him for a little bit, guys, because he was, like, super strong then. The longer he's allowed up there, the stronger he gets, I think. Oh, my God. Okay, that's where she went. Nice. And that was very close because we almost ran out of space on the notebook. Oh, this is hard. This is very hard, guys. This is very hard. We're almost there, though. We might do this. Flash. Say cheese for the camera. Oh, no, we got mini. We got mini. Flash them. Flash them. Oh, we made it. Okay, we were lucky then. I think we're about to get jump scared. We've made it, guys. We've done night three. First time. So now we've just got nights four, five, and there might be a night six. I'm not sure. Usually with Five Nights at Freddy's games, that are like six nights. The morning has driven them back into darkness. Okay, so let's try and do the final tunnel section. And then like next video, we'll start from night four. Oh, okay. Man, it spins so much, this thing. It's not that way. Oh, it is. It is that way. No. Listen for the ding. Can't hear it. Oh, I think it... I think it was maybe north. Oh my god. No. I'm not there. Oh. Yeah. And again? We did it! That's actually really easy once you know you're listening for the audio cues. I've done it, like, in a few seconds each time. Alright, guys, so what I'm going to do now, we're on night four, and we'll just quickly check. It says, night four, someone new is in the attic. He does not like the lights. Leave him alone. So now we have to leave that one alone. The music will work on the creature that comes to your window. Okay, so this is going to be night four, but I'm going to actually quit for now, guys, because I've sort of been playing this for a while. I don't know how we even quit. There's not even a quit button. Do you know what? I'll just play it and I'll see. Oh, we've got Goofy. So what do we do with Goofy? All right, let's just see what the jump scare's like. Because it said don't go in the attic with this guy. Oh, no. Okay, so we still use the uh, light mechanic in the attic. There's just going to be an another new enemy now. Interesting. And we've got Goofy roaming now as well. Uh, someone new is in the attic. He doesn't like the light. The music will work on the creature that comes to your window. So there's going to be a creature that comes to the window. That's going to be Goofy, right? Interesting. We've also still got that uh, character. Oh my god, we've got we've got Mini. Flash it. The creature that comes to your window. There's someone knocking, man. Don't know what that is. It says leave him alone, so I think we have to leave the creature in the attic alone when he knocks. It's a different sound to the other one. But I'm really confused right now, guys. I don't know what's going on. We're just having a... Oh, I think that's the uh, sound of the one we do want to bother over light. Maybe. No. Okay, so we've got to kind of distinguish between which creature will attack us and which creature won't. Although we do have this mini game. Uh, to complete. So I guess we could just try and quickly go through this. Um, oh god, this is nuts. I'm trying- oh wow, what was that? This is terrifying. Where's the Mickey head? Where's the Mickey head? There's one. And where's the next one? There's two. Imagine we just get through this like- oh my god. No, we got got. You have to try and speed run it like super fast. But anyway, guys, that is going to be it for part one. I'll probably do a part two where I play uh, nights four and five and try night six. Although I probably won't ever be able to do night six if it's getting this hard already, but I'll try. Uh, so far, I've been enjoying it. It's definitely very polished. It has like some really creepy aspects, really good character designs, which kind of riff off Disney and FNAF designs. And then, of course, it has like this little mini game in the tunnels, which I was really frustrated with to begin with until I understood that you have to keep the lights out and listen for audio cues. I think that could have been explained better. 
are certain things in this game I feel could be explained better like the mini game where you have to like try and get an extra life by hunting for little Mickey Mouse heads. I had no idea that's what it wanted me to do. I was just on the cameras and I clicked on one and I noticed that my little like zero of three went up to one of three and then I kind of knew like oh that's what we have to do then. But it doesn't make it very clear so I think there's ways this could be improved and made into like a really good game but at the moment it just seems like a decent one. But I'm definitely enjoying seeing where it's going and, you know, I enjoyed Treasure Island so I want to stick with it and hopefully finish it in a part 2. But with that said, that is my video for today, Oblitus Casa Part 1. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it and I'm glad to be finally getting to this game after you've been asking me to play it for quite a while. So with all that said, if you did enjoy the video, remember to leave a like, comment down below and of course subscribe for more videos just like this one. And I will see you all on the next one.